Patreon as well. That's what I mean. So um, we're going to go ahead and get our final game of the day underway. And uh, I'm looking forward to this. It's going to be Migration, the home map of the Viper. And if you're ready, Mr. Queros, we will uh, yes. go ahead and get into it. So give me just one sec while I refresh the overlay. <clears throat> There we go. There we go. And, uh, okay. In three, two, one, go. And uh, here we are on the stream. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Uh, we have our final game of the day, our third game in the Viper versus Doubt three game series. And I'm uh, very excited for this one because it's going to be a migration. But looking at the map, uh, we're going to see something oh, a little bit unusual. Yeah, you should you should see the smile on my face. This is such an interesting map generation. I really like it. Uh, what you said earlier, usually you uh, the rush distance is really long, but now it completely isn't. So that might uh, yeah cause some interesting mechanics. Yeah, and the, the, I think we should emphasize might here because there is actually um, a chance that they won't like figure this out depending on where they dock. Uh, they might not realize that they're so close together. Uh, but the fact that there is just a tiny gap between the two starting islands and the actual land mass itself is off to the side uh, does mean that this really should be a rush map. But as we saw in earlier games um, in the last series, we see how players often do play on migration and they like to boom. They like to make a lot of fish. And whoever recognizes that actually this is a really weird generation and we're actually really close together, uh, that person is going to have uh, quite the edge. So Viper's in the uh, yellow playing as the Italians. Doubt in the blue playing as the Italians as well. No surprises there with the sieves, uh, but definitely a big surprise with the map. Yeah, and the match generation continues to amaze me as I'm looking at uh, Doubt's gold. It's not very great. It's uh, stuck between two wood lines, so that's not very nice. And then looking over to uh, the Viper's yeah, gold and stone, they are right next to each other. So usually that wouldn't be an issue and actually quite good as you could take stone and gold with one mining camp. But now he built a house there, so yeah. it's, and there's also the straggler, so that's a bit unfortunate. The Viper House AOE rip. Um, yeah, he would be able to build a mining camp here and it would be nice efficiency. But I mean, you generally don't gather stone on migration until a lot later on anyway. So it's not really likely at all uh, that he would want to be getting on the stone. Um, but the berries are uh, very, very close to the shoreline here for Viper. And uh, the gold for Doubt as well is quite close to the shoreline. But I imagine he'll be taking it from the south side anyway, uh, due to it being closer to his TC. Um, and also his, his own berries are also very close to the shore. So I, I get the feeling that you know this could be a really interesting game. It could not play out like a standard migration at all. Uh, Viper's also not got the be uh, a good deer patch. The deer are kind of uh, frolicking around behind the wood here. And Doubt, on the other hand, has already lured all four deer towards his TC because they're super close by and it's really easy to do that. So I feel like Doubt uh, probably has a better start here, but Viper's going to wrestle with those deer until they go to the TC anyway. Yeah, so Doubt's uh, getting up a dock on the left side of his island, so he will probably not notice that uh, the Viper is this close. Yeah, um, exactly. And that's yeah. why I said, like, might is an emphasis here, because mm -hmm. it really depends where they build the docks. The first dock for Doubt coming down at the south, I mean, that's the wrong side of the island. You're going the wrong way, Doubt. Uh, he is, however, likely to build a second and third dock around his island fairly soon, and then he'll probably have some info. But even then, even then, you're not guaranteed to figure out that the... Uh, the land that you see across the pond is actually the enemy and not uh, the center island. Uh, Viper going to dock on this left side, though, and uh, he's probably got the higher chance, I suppose, of scouting this or seeing this. But it's still going to be a while before any fishing ships make it out there or any docks get any vision. Yeah, I guess he, he's... What reason would he really have to move out with his fishing ship? So, uh, yeah, he's probably not going to notice either. Well, this early on, yeah, absolutely no chance he's going to really be, uh, be be scouting with them at this stage of the game. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just, it's going to be so 
so awkward this one uh, i'm really amused by this um but yeah right now i mean doubt is ahead in my opinion a little bit he's got uh well, he was faster to get the deer in. Uh, Viper's going to be moving over to a mill uh, a little bit before Doubt as well. And uh, that means that Doubt might be able to sustain fishing ship production for a moment longer or a little bit better. Oh, Viper's housed. Oh, dear. Viper is housed. But and... Doubt as well. Oh, Doubt. Uh, sorry. Bit. Yeah. I think they were both housed. Um, I was actually on doubt's point of view while i was saying viper's housed um but ah. uh and he a doubt was housed at the same time but viper did loom and doubt did not and would you look at that doubt 24 vils viper 23 uh gonna get himself a small advantage there yeah a really small advantage but they uh they can stack up that's like that's how this game might go sometimes just really yeah really small advantages here and there um but for now, it's it's stacking up quite nicely. Um, so villager and fish count twenty six for doubt, only twenty three for viper. If the scoreboard is not uh, or the dashboard is not fooling me. Yeah, um, viper's going up twenty four pop, Aha. and that's that's so weird. Like he's now gonna he sent his fishing ship out, but he clicked up to feudal before he sent the fish out. Yeah, so but that he... is that is interesting because doubt now should shouldn't doubt think like what is this fishing ship doing here? Yeah, I mean that's gonna give it away, but like, don't you think it's strange? Viper does a fast feudal, and he only built three fish, and he didn't even see this land from doubt before he clicked up to feudal. Like it's such a strange read on the game, and I don't know if he normally plays migration like this, but it's super weird that he would just fast feudal like that for like without knowing that the land was there. It's so strange. Doubt, meanwhile, you know, he's got many more fishing ships out. He's playing migration like you'd expect to play migration. Um, and he's going to now be caught with his pants down as Viper is uh, is futile already. Fire galley coming out. Right, yeah, that might hurt. Doubt is uh, reacting to or by getting a dock on, on that side of the island. Um, but yeah, only just clicking up to Fuel Age, so he will be behind by a lot. Yeah, I mean, I I don't know, man. That's super weird. And I, he's going to be able to get that fire galley over there very quickly. Um, but yeah, interesting. Um, very good read on the situation. Uh, I mean, obviously, we know why, you know, if he, if he was to fast feudal and Doubt was on the other side of the map, by the time he gets his galle galleys over there, uh, Doubt would be able to get to feudal very quickly. And he would be able to, um, uh, I guess, uh, defend very easily and, and have a massive uh, fishing ship advantage. But right now, Doubt's going to lose the first ship and he's going to be able to... Uh, <laughs> He's gonna be able to get an advantage as doubt in the chat is saying close again a eh? 11 11 uh yeah doubt on the way up to fuel now 75 percent, and he's gonna keep most of his ships safe oh wait maybe not viper's down here with a fire galley already oh man that's fast doubt cannot really deal with the viper map hacks mm. but let's see if he can work his way out of this uh will be difficult though he He's still ahead, according to my uh, overlay. He's still ahead if in yes. yeah, for each account. 36 yeah. uh, villagers for Doubt versus 27 of Viper. Um, so it's definitely definitely still an advantage for Doubt here. But he's extremely outnumbered in army already. Four, uh, four to one. Um, as Well, five to one even. But he doesn't even have a single ship out on the water. So he has to defend these guys somehow. He's getting a demolition raft out right now. Uh, a couple of demolition rafts even. And uh, Doubt going to lose more ships in the meantime. It's costly. It's costly. Um, this is going to be one of those games that's probably going to be over in like a minute. As uh, <laughs> Viper will just overrun him and to kill all of his fish. Uh, which is just crazy really. Um, to just... I, I don't get it man i don't get it how 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 did he know that it was gonna be clo so close i i almost i want to watch the wreck back again just to see how he scouted in the early game and whether or not something ticked him off because i mean it, it, he must have seen something that gave him a, an indication that they were close or it was just lucky that they were um yeah maybe because doubt said close again right so maybe he thought why not why not just get a fishing ship and scout scout the water to see if indeed i find the mainland or not 
Yeah, and uh, now Viper is uh, getting a really big advantage here. Doubt is uh, trying to make some demo rafts, but not really trading very effectively with them. Um, and yeah, currently Viper is uh, sitting way ahead at the moment in terms of uh, everything. Uh, Village is now absolutely even, as uh, Doubt did lose too many fishing ships, and that's super costly for him. Uh, Viper's got a huge score lead right now as well. And uh, meanwhile, demolition rafts coming out for Viper, and Doubt's like, serious? <laughs> What's going on here? And look at Doubt's, uh, look at Doubt's gold here, what I was saying earlier, that yeah, that, yeah that's just so, so bad. Villagers constantly getting stuck. Having a little bump and grind on the gold there is Doubt's villagers as they... Uh, well, I mean, to be honest, he probably should have built the mining camp one tile away, but then it would have blocked the lumber camp as well. It's just, yeah. Um, if he'd have built it one out, he would have more access, but Ooh, a little less efficiency. Nice but, oh, yeah, I missed something. We're getting a nice shot with the demo ref. Ah, lovely. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I think... Right now, I mean, it's going to be that, that fight for the water. Uh, Doubt is going to be coming from behind here. He's going to lose another fish. Meanwhile, uh, Doubt, I think he's behind in fish, actually. I think Viper's killed so many, and he's now actually really ahead. So, scary, scary Mary stuff for Doubt right here. As he just is not going to be able to really have any presence on the water at all. Uh, he's going to try and do what he can, but it's going to be really rough. Uh, Viper, on the other hand can just maintain this position i feel yeah definitely what you do see sometimes um with uh with he water fire so is that it can go on quite a long time especially because if you get a few good demo ref shots then you can be instantly right back into uh the game so maybe doubt can get a, a good shot oh uh, so far he hasn't been able to get it yeah i just saw another demo fail there on the right side as uh, he sent it in but really only hit one uh fire galley so yeah I mean, doubt just isn't being able to outmass viper and that's expected when viper is so much faster to feudal and i think you're right about the demolition ships they're kind of like the mangonels of the water in a sense only they explode after they fire once um but they do have the potential to turn things around. It just requires a good positioning and not attacking one at a time. Otherwise, you're actually trading uh, negatively. And Doubt keeps doing this. So he's falling more and more behind now. Uh, almost two to one in the military count for Viper. And Viper's adding in some, um, some galleys as well. So he's going to be able to pick off these demo rafts a little easier as well. Yeah, score goes to show as well that uh, Viper is doing quite good. Um, yeah, that, that is uh, having a tough time still, trying to get some good shots there, but eh, it's not great, you know? The, the sh some shots are decent, some are not that great, but no no really, really big shots that can yeah, exactly. uh, give him the potential to get back. I, I completely agree. I mean... Doubt is in real trouble, so, um, I mean, Doubt's is a little bit messy as well, um, he's got a lot of wood banked up, uh, but he doesn't have, um, that much food, he's just seeding farms right now, whereas Viper is a lot faster to start seeding farms, and he's gonna click castle very soon as well, uh, Viper here building his market right now, he's gonna be castle in a minute, and he's got blacksmith up already, so, he, when he clicks up, and he's maintained a military advantage. I mean, it's four ships to 11 right now for Viper. Uh, uh, yeah, I just don't see how Doubt's going to play against a Castle Age army with a Feudal Age army. And I think that's going to be game. Uh, I, I don't see a realistic way for Doubt to really come back into this now. Yeah, not really. Sadly not. I, I'm going to watch the, the wreck back, though, from the start. I want to yeah. I want to see uh, how Viper's scouting looked. Um, I think because I, I, I did look at the scout again, he did bump into the islands uh, quite soon, but even then he, he did have to send a fishing ship out. So I, I think it was just good luck on, on his part, thinking why not yeah, go scout water for a bit. Sure, I mean, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. But uh, right now, Viper's on the way up to Castle, 20%, and uh, I think Doubt will call the GG once Viper hits the Castle Age here. Um, he knows that he is going to be... Uh, in a, a real tough spot, but uh, I mean, uh, some people in the chat saying that Viper suspected it because of the the island shape. I mean, I guess he is a little bit towards the center of the map. He's like a little bit away from the edge. I mean, normally on migration, you have an edge that touches the, uh, you have a part of your island which touches the edge of the map. Um, 
in that case, you're usually um, far away. But when you're, you've got um, water surrounding you, then that's kind of like tips you off a little bit. Um, I'm not, I'm not like saying he did anything dodgy. I just want to see his scouting. So whether or not he actually anticipated it based on something else, or if he anticipated it based on what he saw uh, from his fishing ship. But uh, I mean, you definitely have to keep that in mind. That most times on a standard migration map, your uh, landmass does touch the edge of the map, and doubt has that over here, but not much. <laughs> um, well, Doubt's scout attacked the fishing ship, yes, but that happened after uh, Viper clicked up to Feudal, so he knew before that, or like, he had an indication before that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It did help uh, Doubt to know that there was a fishing ship. Alright, so um, Viper's castle now, and Doubt's staying in, uh, in Feudal for the time being. He's not clicked up yet. And I don't really see what Doubt's going to do here. Uh, seven army versus 13. He looks like he's going to try and suicide for the fish. And I think he killed a couple, actually. But um, still, I mean, Viper's going to have a war galley very soon. And Doubt still doesn't have a blacksmith up yet so that he can actually get to the castle age. So, uh, it's just, it's real rough. Uh, there, there we go. Fire ship for Viper coming in. And... Yeah. Well, it's the last game of the, of the series. So, Doubt is holding on. And, yeah. Maybe hoping for Viper to make a mistake, but that's not going to happen. Uh, Viper going into War Galley means also that he can start to raid from the shoreline. And that should be, yeah, that should be it for Doubt. Nothing he can do against that. Yeah, exactly. If he can't control the water, he can't stop the War Galleys, and he can't protect his villagers, and then he can't make anything else on the water because he's got no villagers, and then it's game. So uh, <laughs> I think uh, Doubt really is hanging on, um, and it, yeah, it, it's, it is GG, that is for sure. Um... So there you go. Uh, Doubt did not transport. Um, I think he... Yeah, he didn't transport anything. It was just his uh, fire galleys around the top side. Um, and yeah, that, that's it. GG for Viper. He will get the win. Um, and I want to very quickly check over the... Um, check over the... Um, wreck again just to see how Viper's scouting looked uh, but I think it's more the island position and shape which gave it away uh, the positioning that is of the or the style of the map uh, I just want to say as well real quick um, join our discord server that's right um, we have an Age of Empires 2 discord where you can come and chat about the games uh, where you can come and uh, you know, join in the community, find some people to play with, uh, talk about Age of Empires, whatever you want to do, uh, you can do it over at the Escape Gaming Discord server. The link is in the chat. Just click it and you can go right there. Don't have Discord installed on your PC? It's fine. You can have it in the browser. Uh, but come and uh, join our Discord server. And uh, yeah, you can ask us any questions about the events and stuff as well. I did forget to plug that earlier on, so that's why I'm doing it now. Um, so let's go ahead and check over the wreck. Uh, I just want to see Viper's scouting info. As I'll fast forward things through here. Um, it's definitely, like I say, when you don't have an edge that's connected to the edge of the map, when you're quite in from the edge, that generally gives you good information. But I want to know if he did see some shoreline or if he did see uh, Doubt's Island before or something like that. Um, but we're going to go ahead and fast forward through. And, uh, yes, come and say hi in the Discord afterwards. I'm going to be checking out the... I'm going to be in the Discord for the rest of the night as well. Uh, Queros, are you in the Discord? I am, yes. Yeah, get in the Discord, everyone. Queros is Super there. Super cool place. <laughs> exactly. The only place. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're just going to fast forward through real quick and see what his scouting looks like before he clicks up to Feudal here. Um, you know, obviously he's got the fish out, and we're going to watch this closely. Uh, obviously, yes, he, he can see the, the shallows as well. Uh, that's something to keep in mind. It's something I want to watch out for. Um, so fishing ships coming out, but he's, yeah, he's already, yeah, you saw that. He clicked up to Feudal and he definitely hadn't scouted Doubt's Island. He clicked up to Feudal way before he sent the, villa, the, the ship out. He didn't see the shoreline or anything. So he must have only assumed it based on the map generation and I think that is a huge testament to Viper's game knowledge and uh, skill level in this game but uh, thank you so much guys for tuning in today I really hope you enjoyed the games um, don't forget we'll be back next Sunday
And we're going to be here at 15 GMT for more great Age of Empires 2 action uh, featuring eight of the uh, finest.